The University Area Joint Authority owns and operates a facility rated for approximately 11 million gallons a day, treating approximately 5.5 MGD on a daily basis, and provides 1 million gallons a day of reuse quality reclaimed wastewater that they provide into the community through a series of distribution and transmission systems. The decision for the water reuse project started long ago, as far back as 1996, uh, when the region was looking at alternatives for wastewater disposal uh, because of the small size of the stream that we discharge into and the fact that it's a high quality cold water fishery. The reuse water is used in a variety of applications, including swimming pools, car washes, heating and cooling systems, golf course and turf grass irrigation, and commercial landscape. The University Area Joint Authority uses a combination of membrane treatment, both hollow fiber microfiltration units and thin film composite reverse osmosis membranes to provide the multi-barrier approach for its water reuse project. The microfiltration system provides particulate and bacteriological removal. The reverse osmosis system provides removal of dissolved contaminants and trace components. By utilizing secondary wastewater as its primary source of water for its water reclamation process, the authority has to contend with biofouling on the reverse osmosis system. This biofouling can lead to slime forming bacteria that grow within the reverse osmosis membranes, increasing both electrical operating costs and frequency of chemical cleanings that both drive up cost and reduce membrane life. The Authority's AOP system comprises of a liquid oxygen source, along with a nitrogen boost system, ozone generator, injection system, and quench system to provide a working system for the addition of ozone into the microfiltered effluent to provide a bacteriological kill prior to the reverse osmosis. One of the big pluses for us on the ozone system is our ability to use it for advanced oxidation. Uh, for reuse waters in many other states, they've adopted the AOP requirements. Pennsylvania hasn't, but by already having ozone available, uh, we can institute that in the future without any difficulty. Oxygen is supplied by an outside party through liquid oxygen storage system located here at the Authority. The injection system injects the gaseous oxygen into a side stream of microfiltered effluent to provide a dosing of a mixture of ozone and water for kill in our ozone contactor. Prior to selecting the ozone system, the authority looked at a number of bench scale tests to test different technologies for the biofouling control. We embarked on a comparison project where we looked at UV, ozone, chlorine dioxide, and hypox. We looked at that as far as what it would cost UHA over a 20 year period and determined that ozone was the best solution for us. The ozone provided the most advantages in that it could be easily retrofitted to AOP in the future and higher doses would provide both pharmaceutical and hormonal reductions at the facility. As any residual ozone is a strong oxidant that would have a negative effect on the reverse osmosis system, the authority uses a small dose of sodium bisulfite to quench the ozone and remove any trace ozone residual prior to the application to the reverse osmosis system. The ozone system has been in operation since 2015. We have been through several operating seasons. That's kind of crucial because during each operating season, the amount of bacteria that is passing through the microfiltration system changes because of the chemicals that we have to add at UHA to meet the Chesapeake Bay tributary standards, which are federal and state requirements. So constantly we are optimizing the dosage of the ozone uh, continuously making changes, evaluating the effects, and we believe we're pretty close to having it optimized by each season now. The Authority's biofouling control project with ozone and an AOP application has been extremely beneficial for their operations. It has provided a reduced cost of operation both in chemical and electrical. It's a more sustainable operation from the Authority reducing their overall power impacts to the greater community and it maintains the high quality of reclaimed wastewater that the Authority provides through its beneficial reuse project to the community. We believe that this project has a lot of benefits. Obviously, it's primarily local, but the benefits go beyond that because this is the first time ozone has been done uh, in advance of the reverse osmosis in the Northeast, so the, we become an example for other systems other drinking water systems even that would be doing this in the future, they can come and visit and look at it. Uh, ultimately though, we, we believe that the environment is what benefits the most.